Recently, a new ControlNet model was released and the model is called ControlNet Union STXL model, which will not only simplify your workflow by combining multiple functionalities into one model, this will also save you a significant storage space. In this video, I am going to show you how to use it with Automatic 11.11 and Forge UI. So let's get started. This is very easy to set up. You just have to go to the Hugging Face page of the new model and you all you have to do is just click on the download button of this Diffusion Pi Torch model dot safe tensors. Once the model is downloaded, all you have to do is go to Models, go to Control Net and paste the model there. I have renamed it to STXL Union model. Let's see how it does with few examples. Before the examples, I would like to say that if you are on older versions of Automatic 11.11 or Forge UI, please update the ControlNet extension or it, it might not work on your PC. For this model to work, all you have to do is select the STXL Union model from your drop down menu and you just have to select the preprocessor for the result you want. Like in my first example, I have used soft edge PDNet model. As I'm using a 4 GB 1650 GPU, I will also show you the speeds I'm getting with different samplers, which might be helpful for you. As I'm using the Lightning SDXL model, the first default sampler that is recommended is DPM++ S. The speeds I'm getting with the DPM++ SD Keras sampler have increased with the use of control net option. The next sampler I'm going to use is DPM++ 2M SDE Turbo sampler and the speed gain is significant when I use this sampler but result might be of low quality in this case. So it's your personal preference. If you want quality you can go with SDE Keras sampler. If you want a fast result just to see how things are going you can use the SDE Turbo sampler. I will show you the result of both of them together now. So this is it for today's video. I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.